The history of country music can be said to parallel the nation's history in the development of the nation. In truth, country music might be better be designated as music of our country without any conscious effort to label it as either a rural or urban. This first Hall of Fame announcement then deals with history, with the country music greats of the past. It was in the first week of August 1927 that portable recording gear of the Victor Talking Machine Company was brought to Bristol, a small town straddling the Virginia-Tennessee border. In that same week, two of the greatest country music performers of all time made their first commercial recording. One was Jimmy Rogers, the singing brakeman, the other performer, a trio actually of gentle-voiced Blue Ridge Mountaineers, was to become more copied than any other group in the country and folk music field. Even today, their songs are among the most popular in the country music catalog. To mention just three, Foga Mountain Top, Wildwood Flower, and uh, Keep on the Sunny Side. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest addition to the Country Music Hall of Fame the influentials from Clinch Mountain, A.P. Carter, and the original Carter family. Accepting of the widow, the two surviving members of the original Carter family, Maybell and Sarah Carter. This evening could be better deserved than that award, which, that award which we have just seen. And I have the distinction of being born and raised in the town where that first record was made in Bristol, Tennessee, which was my hometown. Congratulations.